should be said, although they didn't make it to the end, Mitch and Jack were a big part of Guzman, um, and they obviously, you know, were close to people's hearts. Things, um, you know, unfortunately didn't make make it to the end, but um, just to, you know, dedicate it to them. Um, my ramblings are probably because of um, having a lot of exam marking uh, the last few days, so I've kind of been trying to write the roast and do exams at the same time, so it's kind of like, I've probably made a mess of my exams and made a mess of the roast, so anyway, we'll see how we go. Alright, um, Guzman Leaders Fund 2021. It's time to say our sad farewells and reflect on what has been. Four years of memories and friendships will soon be just a dream. You tend to have made our lives richer for the fun and laughter you have brought. We thank you for the life's lessons you have taught. Since you arrived, homeroom's never been dull or boring, but attendance rates and behaviour standards have been consistently falling. <laughs> <laughs> As year sevens, you were sweet, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed bunch. Now in year ten, you only smile at lunch. <laughs> you were so innocent and likeable, but alas, this has all changed since half of you are now dimwits and the other half deranged. <laughs> when did the infinite potential disappear? It all went up in vapour. Oh! Dale! Dale! I was high. You were so innocent and likeable, but alas, this has all changed since half of you. Oh, I've already read that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing. All right, jokes aside, you've all seen, uh, seen it to the end. You've made it down the straight to where the road starts to bend. We wish you every happiness uh, on whatever life will bring happiness, success, and a little bit of bling. I think you know by now the poem might have a sting in the tail, so be prepared to get embarrassed as I set sail. There, these are the moments I cherish most, scheming and dreaming of that perfect roast. There's so many things I could say, but are censored, but then I would have to mend too many fences. Women won. Oh. Angie, Eloise, Carey. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie is so nearsighted that she crashes into walls. She's like a human pinball who bounces off her classmates, laughs and falls. I'm not that fine. Mackenzie's always injuring herself and, and all of her friends. Will her path of destruction ever come to an end? It's no surprise that this dem a demolition queen loves skating in the ice. Slipping over is her specialty and really no surprise. The Air Force cadets are worried that Mackenzie will trip and break a plane. The flight instructor is not just worried, he's scared out of his effing brain. Excuse my language. All right. Jasmine. Jasmine Louise are good. Jasmine is a wild child who loves to rage and make a lot of noise. Her favourite thing, though, is chasing music boys. Jasmine is like, Jasmine is like the Pied Piper with her flute and oboes, drawing boys closer wherever she goes. No boy stands a chance when they listen to your notes. Maybe this is how you became creative arts captain, by gaining so many mail boats. <laughs> Jasmine, think of all the hot air that you've created in your time in concert band. Remember, Jasmine, it's not all about you and pleasing all your fans. So selfish. <laughs> Maddie Ray uh, Wallace Thompson. Maddie Ray, listen to me, listen to me. You are Captain Kumi to a toy. You share a middle name with Ebony Ray. And you may well end up with Kel or Brett someday. You're destined to be shopping at Fountain Gate and, and chasing hunk of spunks. I know you can't wait. You have Kimmy's violent side from your martial arts. Maddie Ray, listen to me, listen to me. Don't break too many hearts. Maddie Ray, don't forget to power walk in Lycra and get a tight perm for the formal. I've heard that muffin top shown with a visible G is the new normal. Lorenzo Lopez three. Ah. has a very mysterious name. Surely Lorenzo one and two must be to blame. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's the third time lucky. 
But with Lorenzo, it's not. Do <laughs> uh, you ever thought that or to be shocked? I arrived at Dominic College in grade nine, and ever since there's been a dramatic increase in crime. <laughs> Lorenzo st- stands over year sevens and steals their lunches. He starts all the fights, but never throws punches. Who would have thought Lorente was such a crook? Don't be fooled by this gangster's good looks. <laughs> Natalie, Natalie Jane Rebel. I've never met a midget with such an overweight. Oh, 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 Natalie loves the sound of her own voice, which is painful to my ears. I've got industrial deafness from listening to her all those years. Give us a break, Natalie, from all your constant chatter. Go on, Natalie, grow a bit and find a step ladder. <laughs> uh, Jenna Lily May Shearer. Cheddar is my favourite shirt. <laughs> it's much better than Camembert and Brie. Jenna's bark is definitely not worse than her bite. She loves nothing better than spoiling for a fight. Jenna hangs with her posse of vipers ready to strike. The victims run in fear of their lives. Cheddar and Sage are a culinary match made in hell. It's great entertainment when they both start to yell. <laughs> Alright, G2. Cassidy Lauren Hodge. Cassidy? Cassidy who? Is she even enrolled? <laughs> she was once at the school or so I'm told. I'm not sure. I believe it. Is Cassidy really a person? I'm not so certain. Since Cassidy came back as Lazarus, she's like a re- religious apparition. She, she could be a ghost or maybe even a vision. Whatever she is, her craziness is there to be seen. Yes, her insanity is not fake news or a dream. Cassidy lurks in the shadows with the likes of Amy Bright. This fringe dweller can be quite defiant. <laughs> uh, Mia Grace O'Keefe. Mia is everyone's friend. <coughs> How sickly sweet. Georgia Nicotara says she waddles and has two left feet. <laughs> Despite her waddling, she caught, she's caught a couple of scrummy guys like Hayden and Ethan who caught her wandering eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Mia, show a bit of self-control. You're here to learn, not gaze. We, we don't contain this, uh, sorry, condone this behaviour. You need to change your ways. Sarah Grace O'Reilly. Sarah is afflicted with the same sweet nature as our Miss, Miss O'Keefe. But she's not as good as she pretends, which is surely a relief. Sarah is a studious girl who wants to do her best, but she will lie and cheat to get A's on every test. (laughs) Sarah is an overachiever, and they are very dangerous indeed. A gardener gardener would call her a noxious weed. (laughs) Joel Andrew Ring. Oh, Joel. Joel is a silent movie. Has anyone heard him talk? <laughs> Maybe once or twice while playing sport. His favourite activity at Dominic was the right journey of this. Most kids thought it was torture. Joel thought it was bliss. <laughs> <laughs> Joel strikes me as a fitness junkie who loves to lift some weights. He also enjoys soccer and playing with his mates. Joel loves listening to Beyonce and his... And she's always number one on his playlist. Single Ladies is obviously Joel's favourite hit. You know the rest. (laughs) Joel's favourite book is Lord of the Rings. And you guessed it, favourite food, Burger Rings. (laughs) A perfect match for Joel would be Natalie, but the conversation would be odd. She would do all the talking and he would grin and nod. Cody Robert Whitaker. Oh, Robert. <laughs> Cody Whitaker is a man with a mowy and a sorry, a man's man with a mowy and a mullet to prove it. I'm sure Miss Gilligan would prefer he'd go ahead and lose it. <laughs> He's spent more time shooting baskets than ever doing work. And fighting in PE with Corey Cleaver, he went cray cray berserk. <laughs> Cody wants to work in construction and be a licensed tradie. 
He survived many lessons in Rocco's world, which almost sent him crazy. <laughs> I can imagine Cody in the future with a souped-up Holden Ute, wearing a beater and a flanny and an esky in the boot. <laughs> uh, G3, uh, Tanisha francis Clark. Tanisha's mood varies, and, and she can either be a Jekyll or a Hyde. But one thing is certain, Tanisha will soon be, at Ty so soon be Tyler's bride. <laughs> she stays in homeroom just until attendance is done, and when, when Mr. Glidden's not watching, off to Tyler she will run. <laughs> Tyler has worn, sorry, Tanisha has worn her formal uniform so little it's, it still looks brand new. Wear your tie, Nisha, and tie your hair back too. Tanisha's part of the brat pack with Jetta, Sage and Co. Breaking all the rules, you just need to go. <laughs> Tanisha, oh, oh, sorry, Tanisha Jenny sounds pretty cool. Good luck, Tanisha, in reform school. <laughs> John Roberts. Man, man. Man, this is a strange child who laughs at his own jokes. You don't feel sorry for those kind of blokes. <laughs> he runs to his classes with speed but no technique. He <laughs> 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 hangs with the gamers, otherwise called geeks. Uh, Brad is tech savvy and a hacker as well. Be kind to him or things won't end well. He could spread a virus to shut the school down. There's no room for this kind of kid in town. Oh, sorry, for this kind of clown. Brad, you are a menace and a fraud, making trouble online when you get bored. James Ian Shear. Oh, James is the male version of Natalie Revelle. He never shuts up. It's a living hell. Just when you think that James is going to draw breath, he finds some other random story to bore you to death. Yeah. James, less is more. You should know that by year 10. When, when will this bite verbal diarrhea end? When I'm, not, when I'm not looking, he sneaks into G4. I knew that I needed to change the lock on the door. Uh, G4, Rachel Marie Glidden. Rachel is pure evil. <laughs> she has fully bought Priyanka mercilessly as well as the rest. We are, we are all scared of Rachel's insatiable power. Uh, she can really really be quite um, quite ferocious. And there are times when she's simply precocious. Grumpy when she doesn't get chocolate. <laughs> Rachel, take control of yourself and stop being such a brute. Leave Priyanka alone and live by the truth. We need therapy for the times we've shared. Well, at least Rachel, one of us cares. <laughs> Priyanka Jibby. Priyanka Jibby is a super nerd, truly a super nerd. Study has been her enjoyment. She loves every word. Franka's dream date would be being locked in a library where she could soak in each fact. Life would be so perfect, cuddle up with that almanac. <laughs> um, academic captain was meant to be. She was destined for this, keeping study notes and spelling lists. I hope, I hope, Franka, that you recover from all the bruises Rach that Rachel has inflicted. She should be locked up, not merely convicted. <laughs> Thomas Edward Murray. Tom was quiet and shy when he started high school, but he soon started scanning, scanning for girls. He was nobody's fool. So far, he's gone out with most girls in his classes. There's nobody left, um, to, and it's time to look for new pastures. <laughs> Casanova has got a track record of making moves as quick as you flash. To Tom, nothing beats a good cash. <laughs> Tom attracts female attention galore, but enough is enough for so is never enough for Tom. He always wants more. And soon Tom will be on Tinder and he'll be surfing for more blind dates. Mackenzie may be the next next in line. Surely it's surf eight. G4's token Nordic blonde. She's not to be messed with because she'll go up like a bomb. <laughs> Maddie is a tomboy who can, can't stand girly girls. Army cadets in construction uh, rocks Maddie's world. She loves to go camping, fishing, shooting. You get the idea. I bet she has a drink when she... When she has a drink, she has a stone cold beer. <laughs> Maddie's the prettiest bloke we have in G4. <laughs> She'd rather be in wooden metal than in power for sure. Maddie and Mr. Mange are two peas in a pod. One thinks they're better than the, the teacher, the other thinks he's God. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> His plan has finally hashed, and now he was in charge. No one could stop him now. His head has become too large. <laughs> Josh's hair is not fully brown, but never call him Ginger. This would not be good, because you wouldn't want to be a ranger and a ginger. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, my God. There's, there's indeed some red. I've seen it with all my poor eyes. Time to get to the hairdresser Josh to experiment with some dice. <laughs> G5. Sam Murray Cox. Sam's middle name is Murray. Isn't that one of the Wiggles? He can be very childish and he loves a good giggle. Most people lose their dimples when they grow up, but Sam's are here to stay. He hangs around with Riley Braslin. There's not much more to say. <laughs> Sam is very sporty and loves to run around. And his eyes light up when Ellie Mason is around. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's in the mullet gang, but his mullet has a curl. Lucky for you, Sam, the curls get the girls. <laughs> it is time, Sam, to ditch Riley for Ellie and show and grow up a bit, because Ellie's much cuter and Riley's boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Sage Marie Crazier. Sage is a massive drama queen and loves to put on a play. She exaggerates every situation on any given day. If a dodgeball hits her in the ankle, she rolls around in pain. If she can get someone's attention, she has everything to gain. Sage is, Sage is crazier than most in Guzman House. She loves a good bitch and a good stout. Sage, Sage loves to socialise, mingle and has an air of pretension. But most of all, she loves good afternoon detention. Good afternoon detention. Erica Alice Lester. Er Erica loves sport and is a rugby tragic. She was injured, injured while uh, showing her sidestepping magic. Or was it the, or was the injury done in a scrum? Did her leg up, leg end up someone's bum? Who knows? How <laughs> but she ended up lame. Uh, her over exuberance is surely to blame. And what's with these crutches that were made especially from bamboo? They look like they come from a panda enclosure at the zoo. <laughs> you stole their food and now the pandas are starving. Erica's selfishness is really alarming. Uh, Ellie Joan Mason. Ellie is a mean girl who likes to destroy friends. Oh, not really. She pretends to be friendly, and the message, and that's the message that she sends. Like Jasmine, she sucks people into her web. Don't get caught, because you'll end up dead. <laughs> Ellie is a black widow spider of Guzman House. No one is as safe, especially her spouse. Ellie has trouble with decisions. Uh, uh, will it be Blake or Sam? Who is going to be her man? <laughs> Who she chooses will surely meet his fate. Run for the hills, Sam, before it's too late. <laughs> uh, Jordan James Richards. Jo Jordan was once a sport sporty boy, but sadly all this has stopped, I see, since Jordan is busy chasing after V. <laughs> <laughs> Life was so simple in year seven to nine. Eat, drink, sleep, and play basketball on the court all the time. Now he's literally joined at the hip to his lover. When one of them farts, both of them suffer. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows where the romance, what the romance will bring. Just go and see Joel when you need a ring. <laughs> <laughs> First comes love, second comes marriage, third comes the baby carriage. <laughs> Emily Grace Self, last lucky last. <laughs> Emily is a great sprinter who jumped out of the blocks in year seven. She thought that Jack got Gordon in his team was her ticket for him. I knew that was coming. Right. Alas, this did not last, but he could, But as he, as he couldn't spend enough time with her in the yard, he was online applying for his pensioner card. <laughs> Since that romance ended, it's been a revolving door of boys. Show some control, Emily. We're not just toys. You chew them up and spit them out. And that's why you have braces. <laughs> You've forgotten half their name and all of their faces. <laughs> Seriously speaking, Eugene, we 
have loved uh, having you in our lives. One day you will make great husbands and wives. We send you on your way with a tear and a smile, but never forget that you're all crocodiles. Good luck and God bless you, Year 10s.